Hi, today we are going to have a look at the instructions behind Starlan. Last time we wrote the following Starlan. And we wrote it using Eve library, which is what that library is designed for. It's designed to write cross-platform CMD code. However, we need to understand A, how to write that without the library, and B, uh, uh, kind of what it compiles to. Okay, there are, uh, depending on the compiler flags, that code will compile to six following versions, right? There are three x86 versions, 16 byte, 32 byte, and 64 byte, right? There are also two ARM versions, uh, both 16 byte, but with slightly different instructions. And finally, there's an emulation. To be clear, uh, this is not uh, attempts to do CMD in uh, arithmetic registers, like when loading eight bytes in an eight byte integer and trying to do something fancy. No, this is just an emulation to make sure that the code will compile and run everywhere. Okay, so the way you write CMD code without the library is by using intrinsics, right? You just include the header and off you go. So for example, this is for uh, x86. I included imintrin and I wrote some intrinsics, right? And there are no special flags or special libraries. And same thing for ARM. This is ARM uh, v8, 64-bit one, uh, right? I just include the header, write intrinsics, that's it. Okay, so let's have a look at which intrinsics will we need. Uh, so we're gonna start with a um, load of an aligned address, right? Uh, on ARM, this is just an instruction, load aligned uh, eight bytes, right? And on x86, we can get one of three instructions, load 16 bytes, 32 bytes, and 64 bytes. Um, SEC2 uh, is when we get the 16 byte instruction, right? And luckily for us, SEC2 is available everywhere where we have a 64 bit Intel platform. Right. Then we have a bunch of different 16-byte uh, 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 CMD family of extensions, like each one extending and making the 16-byte x86 more powerful. Uh, but uh, in terms of purpose of view, for, for, the, for the purpose of Sterlen, there is nothing interesting. And there's AVX. On AVX, we get the ability to load 32 bytes, right? Uh, and then after that, there's AVX2 and there's AVX12. AVX12 is where we get the ability to operate with 64 bytes at the time. However, AVX12, there's no such thing really as AVX12. There's a lot of them. Like, it's many family of instructions set. All right, so what it is that we actually mean by AVX12? Let's have a look here. This is which families of instructions are available for different Intel architectures, right? This is different AVX 12 instructions, this is different architectures. We target this one, Skylake server, right? Anything uh, above it, uh, we will say it's just AVX2. Like anything below it, more powerful, well, we're just gonna ignore all those instructions. If you really need the support for some of that, and if you can reach out to us, maybe we can help you. Okay. Um, then we're gonna need to set the zero. Like it is not uh, terribly important how specifically you do it. There's an instruction to set zero on x86. There is an instruction to set the value on ARM. But in reality, compiler knows what a zero is. So you know, I'm doing the here the set zero, but the compiler does XOR, right? Or here on ARM, I'm doing you know set zero, but the compiler just knows that there's an implicit zero, and so it doesn't do anything. So do whatever. The next thing we need to understand is how to represent logical values in the uh, in CMD, right? We're going to do the comparison. We're going to represent logical values, right? I think this one is messed up, so we're going to open the three. And it's loading. Okay, so the way typically logical values are represented is uh, by using unsigned integers of the same size where uh, all ones represent true. So for example, this is int eight, right? And we have uh, FF, uh, unsigned, uh, uh, FF means true, right? And so it's unsigned eight bit number, right? Here what I'm doing, I generated a register where every other element is one, 
right, with a formula, and then I compare it with one, right? And so zero FF, zero FF, right? If I use uh, 16 byte integers, 16 bit integers, uh, I'm sorry, uh, then I'm going to get, uh, well, four Fs, right? If I'm gonna use a float, right? I'm gonna get eight Fs being true, right? A exception to this is IVX512, where the uh, each individual, but uh, the, where the logicals are bit masks, right? So I think here I have it. Yes. So here I'm compiling for IVX512, and uh, for well, there is in thirty-two, right? So there are sixteen values. And the logical value is a 16-bit bit mask, right? Which has, uh, you know, one bit per true, right? One bit per false. Okay. Well, let's have a look at those instructions, right? So uh, I'm going to start with compare equal AP8, right? This is available from AP from SSC2, and this compares uh, 16 bytes uh, of... Uh, and it turns as a byte uh, zero zero or ff for you know true and false false and true. Okay, now we can compare thirty two bytes, and the interesting thing here is that uh, even though we could load thirty two bytes from IVX, we can only compare thirty two bytes from IVX two. This is why for IVX we should probably still keep using the uh, sixteen bytes uh, to do Sterling. And finally, on IVX512, here is our instructions that returns us 64-bit mask, right? To compare 64 uh, chars. Right? And actually, they backported this instruction to be on 32 bytes and on 16 bytes registers. Okay. Another sort of interesting thing here is that this instruction, right, the 512 one, is available with IVX512 BV, which is not the default family of extensions. We require that, so we're good. But um, there's a fantastic blog post uh, by, I'm gonna say, Volson, right? I, his nickname is Bishop B, after the instruction. And uh, in his talk, uh, his blog here, he shows how to do uh, uh, the, well, he does substring in the string, the same idea can be applied to Sterlen. He shows how to do as a uh, Comparison of 64 bytes at a time on IVX 512F, right? Which is the weakest IVX 512. And here he uses the same sort of tricks you would use for uh, integers. Uh, when If you wanted to represent, like, uh, it, if you wanted to say that eight bytes of integer is a, uh, eight, eight chars, actually, right? Uh, you might be interested. Okay. Uh, and then ARM, there is just an instruction. 